All right, guys, just put down a bunch of these. They uh, they have different status effects, so we'll just put down a whole ton of them because, honestly, like, if the forest burns down, no one's really going to know or care, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, Smokey. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Minecraft. I'm here in my noodle oasis with Kopi, and I sent her to the Mine Mart because, well, I don't know, I just felt like we should explore this area. Uh, now that we've sort of been transported to this world and we're hanging out together, I figured we should give it an exploration. I told her, you know what, Kopi, let's go to Mine Mart, or you go to Mine Mart. I gave her some diamonds and some gold. And she brought some rotten flesh, so I'm not really sure what she ended up with, but she put it in the chest here. said we have everything that we're going to need uh, because I gave her a lot of diamonds. And she came back with nothing, so I have a feeling she bought some pretty expensive stuff, although I told her to get basic materials, so let's see what we've got. Whoa! All right, well, it looks like Kopi has sort of um, gone a little bit overboard, guys, and she's gone ahead and bought things like hiking bags and lanterns and pocket knives and antler trophies i don't really know what <laughs> what she did but it looks like she bought everything instead of crafting it but most of this stuff can be crafted so let's grab all this stuff and we'll talk about it but we're gonna need it all for a little trip we're gonna take a little trip guys and uh, see where we can get wow you went all out dog look at this blackberries and raspberries and berry trees and chests and even these kits, and we're out of space, but that's where this comes in, the hiking bag. Right click it, and it's a backpack, so we'll just put some stuff in there that we're not gonna need right away. And <clears throat> we'll grab the last of these, these kits, and we won't need those right away either, so we'll put them there. It's not dark, so we'll put the lantern there. So we've got the pocket knife and a bunch of things. We've got berry trees, which also now drop blackberries and raspberries. Um, as you can see, we have antlers, don't need those. Uh, you can make an antler trophy, all you have to do is like that. Um, and it goes on the wall. It's just a decorative thing. Um, lantern, you can build like so, but we got one because she bought it at the store, uh, making the pocket knife, and this is your basic tool. You have to use it to make things like uh, the tent. You need it for the tent, which is, where is our tent? Here it is. If you uh, wanna make canvas, you have to use it with hemp, which is a new plant that grows in swamp biomes. And uh, you hook it with the pocket knife, and you get to keep the pocket knife, don't worry. It just it just uh, messes with the durability of it. Um, we've got bear traps we can make. Um, and obviously that's an iron stick, which is two pieces of iron. we got barbed wire. I mean, this is going to be great. We're going to go camping here and uh, campfire base with a decoration campfire. We can make the campfire base just with cobblestone, very easy. Log seats you make with the pocket knife. These are pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got raw hair and raw venison. So there are rabbits and deer, which we'll see later. Um, and uh, white rabbits drop white fur. Brown rabbits drop brown fur. And deer drop brown fur along with bears, because we have bear traps. So we're getting ready to go. We can, uh, we've also, she picked up some marshmallows from the mine mart. And uh, you can put it on a stick as well roast it over a campfire and then uh these are the um these are the kits that you're gonna need for cooking things so i'm just gonna go over these really quick uh this is the spit kick spit kit one iron stick with two sticks the uh pan kit is one string one pan one iron stick and two sticks and one iron bar and two iron sticks and four sticks uh you have to make these you can't just grab these out of the mine mart but she brought me all the parts and i put them together before we started the video and okay and I think we should head out. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a nice day for, um, for a walk, and uh, we can head out, and if we get stuck in the dark, we can, uh, we can put up our tent. Now, um, there is a little bit of uh, difference in your... Uh, here's the uh, camping guide. So just in case you don't know how to camp, this tells you everything about it. And, um, but as you can see here, we've got this inventory. And uh, these slots we'll see a little bit later, but you can't access them in creative. So let's get going. All right, you coming? You coming? We're going on a camping trip. We're going to find some cool stuff. Let's go. So let's get back to you guys when we find some of the cool mobs. Okay, guys, here we are in the Enchanted Forest. And as you guys can see, we've got little bunnies. Look at the tiny bunnies. We got white ones. We got brown ones. We've got deer. We've got more baby bunnies. Uh, we should have some 
Wow, they're so cute. Uh, we should have some up oh, there, some does. We've got some bears, and the bears are mean. And uh, baby bear, look at the little baby bear. Um, but uh, yeah, the bears are pretty tough. They have um, they have twelve. Oh, look it, it's like oh, it's like a herd. That's amazing. Okay, so um, let's see if we can get the bears to come over. And you guys might have seen that in the chat. I was slain by Chrissy Blair before. It did not work very well. Uh, I didn't realize that they were so powerful. So uh, even the babies, uh, let's see how much. So they take two hearts every time they hit you. And uh, all right, Kobe helped. The baby ones take two hearts, and these guys take two as well. Um, so yeah, they, they, they are pretty powerful when you don't have armor. Um, but when you do have armor, they're not a huge deal. Let's get a critical there. There we go. Oh, look at that. I got an achievement. So there are achievements tied to this as well. And we're heading into a snow biome. I think it's time to put on our fur armor. And uh, as you guys can see, it has almost the same protection as I think leather armor. I mean, um, iron armor it seems to have the same amount of points, but uh, it does give you a little bit of a speed boost. So if we, uh, well, I think that, well, it's not showing it, but um, uh, we do have a little bit of a speed boost. Uh, as you guys can see there. Um, so, uh, let's see. It looks awesome as well. Kopi, you did a great job with this, the Mine Mart. It was, I bet it was expensive, but it's pretty awesome. I think it was worth it. Uh, okay, so once it starts to get night or we find our destination, I, uh, I'll get back with you guys. And, uh, and then we'll get started. I'm not sure where the, uh, where the sun is, but we're going to have to make camp very soon. And this might be a good place for it. Okay, guys, the sun is starting to set and I'm glad I decided to set up camp. I chopped down the tree and Smokey the Bear is just creeping me out, just staring at me, watching me, making sure that we don't do anything to, uh, <laughs> to damage the, uh, the, 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 the environment. Okay. It's getting dark. Okay. So let's put down our tent first of all. So we'll go ahead and place that. There we go. Well, There's a nice spot for it right here. There we go. Okay. And, um, so one of the things that you can do guys is, okay, let's set up, we need to set up a perimeter. So we'll set up our barbed wire. So we don't have any bears because, um, as you guys know, the bears are not so nice. So let's go ahead and set our barbed wire up. Um, I think you have to have a block to, there it is. Okay. So we need some more light, but as you guys can see, you put it on that block there and then we've got barbed wire Oop, and I don't know why it's breaking on that one. And, oh, it's probably too long. So we need, um, we need to grab another block here. We'll go ahead and use some jungle wood. Why not? And, uh, that'll join it together. And then as you can see, we can continue going along with our perimeter here. And uh, it can bend. So we'll set this up. This is some good stuff, Kopi. And uh, I think it's really, really dark here. So let's set up ourselves a decorate, set us up ourselves, a decoration campfire. And don't worry, Smokey, we're good. See, look at that. It's, it, there's no chance of anything burning down. Um, now, one of the cool things about the decoration campfire is it has to do with dyes. And depending on what dye you choose, so we got light gray and pink right here. So we'll put them both on. And uh, depending on what dye you choose, it gives you five minutes of a certain status effect. And um, and it changes the color of the fire, which is awesome. Look at that pinkish colored fire. We got the white fire here. And then we can check our status effects. We got weakness from one of them and regeneration from the other. I don't know which one's giving us weakness, but we'll just leave it for now because it's providing us some nice light. Now, speaking of light. Let's get into survival mode and I can show you guys something really cool. Uh, with this Swiss Army knife, we can add certain things such as our lantern. And uh, let's open that up again right there and go to our Swiss Army knife area here. And you put the lantern in. And uh, as you guys can see, it dynamically, uh, even if it's not in my hand, it's, it's oh, okay. It's, uh, it is around me. And uh, as you guys can see, the light follows me everywhere. So we can go and find other things that we need for our campsite. But I think we're good for now. Um, all right, guys, our, our camp is starting to get a little bit overrun and we don't want that. So we're going to set up. OK, and these guys get the regen, too, which is interesting from the fire. Uh, we've got this side kind of protected. But we don't have this side protected. Let's set up some bear traps. Sorry, Smokey Bear. Don't step on that. Uh, you can also step in them yourself. Um, and you can see it locks the trap, pop it open. These are really high quality that Kopi picked up for us. So we should be able to catch anything that comes around, tries to get us. 
Good stuff. All right, so we're protected, I think. Oh, we should protect ourselves from this side too. All right, so there we go. Now guys, you can also put a lantern inventory and sleeping into your tent and it ends up looking pretty cool. Let me grab those items real quick. Okay, so all you do is click the lantern, right click on it on there and uh, you guys can see a little bit of light. You can see it hanging there, really cool. Sleeping bag, uh, you guys can make it with a pocket knife and any type of wool and it makes sleeping bag so you can stick it in there as well. And then finally, a chest. Excellent, check that out. Great sleeping quarters, guys. I think we're almost there. All we need to do is make ourselves some food. Now, the way you do that uh, with this stuff is campfire base. We'll set it down. Set down a few of them, and we take these kits that we had gotten before. So take those out of our hiking bag now. There we go. And we just stick them onto the bases. So... Uh, and there's three types, obviously. Uh, there's there's the most basic, which is a spit, and you guys probably know what that is. Um, you know, it's just on a line like that. And uh, all you need to do is put coal in it, just like a furnace, but you can cook two things at once. And uh, But it does seem to consume quite a bit of coal. So um, I wish Kopi had bought a more economical model, but as you guys saw there, that took about 20 pieces of coal. This can cook... Um, this can cook... Uh, fish it can cook the rabbit um, and you just have to watch it though guys because once it gets cooked and it also cooked chicken uh, once it gets cooked if you don't take it off it will turn to ash so we'll see this one cook there you go cooked fish and the rabbit there it is it's cooked and you go ahead and take it off and you see the timer going up that's going to turn to ash <sighs> I'm glad I read the instructions on these kits because otherwise guys we wouldn't be eating tonight so here we go fill it up with coal and uh, same deal here, we can cook fish, uh, we can cook, um, let's see what else do we have, we have, here we get some more food. Um, we can cook fish and you see it on the grill, it's very, very cool. Uh, we can also cook pork chops and we can cook chicken, no, not chicken on this one, sorry, beef on this one, there you go. So there we go, so awesome. And same thing, it'll turn to ash if you don't pick it up. And then we have the pan, and this one's a little bit different, it makes stew. So you can only cook certain types of stew, and there it goes, 20 more pieces. And uh, you can cook rotten flesh to make a little bit of stew and some potatoes. And it stews them all together, and they cook all at once. But again, same deal, it'll turn to ash. And look, guys, it's already turning to, to, to daytime, and we've only just <laughs> made our camp. But uh, it's a nice camp. Look at all this great food we've got here. Let's grab it off before it goes away. And uh, we're all set, guys. This is this is quite the uh, productive camping uh, trip here. And uh, we just have to, um, well, we could leave some of this behind for our return journey. But for now, I think this is, we can, we can collect our tent back and, uh, and get a move on and continue. But before we do, we forgot one last thing. We need to put some logs around the campfire here. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is a nice little spot. You can just hang out, lay down these little, uh, or sit down. These little logs are really, really cool looking. Um, and just make your campsite look epic. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, let's pack it up and uh, keep on moving. Sorry, Smokey, but uh, I didn't burn anything down. So you got nothing to complain about. <laughs> All right. Whoa, guys, I found an enemy camp. <laughs> we found an enemy camp. Get him, get it. Okay, so look at this, guys. Uh, there are other campers about, and you can take their stuff. So there we go. <laughs> See ya, got another 10, woo. Oh, there we are, and here is one of the naturally generated berry leaves, and uh, it uses oak wood for the stem, but this is a berry tree, guys. And uh, well, if, if I, sometimes they drop the uh, berries, or well, they're supposed to drop the berries. <laughs> But we will continue searching, and I got a berry tree sapling, yay! But you can identify them by the color of their leaves. Obviously, you guys could see that that was much brighter. There's another one over there, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. We got some deer in here, too. This is an awesome forest. I hope we find something soon. All right, and whoa, what is that? Oh, my goodness. Guys, we have found something. We have actually found something. Whoa, what is this? This is a crazy structure, guys. 
wow, we're going to have to explore this in the next episode. <laughs> uh, if you guys are looking to play the camping mod, a link in the description to the mod. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Also, if this is your first time watching my channel, go ahead, become a noodler today and subscribe. I play Minecraft every single day. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and man, that's awesome. Of course, noodle on. <laughs>